Hi everyone, welcome back to The Reboot. It's Peter here at The Reboot. It's another big day out here on the job site here at The Reboot. We have, as you've already seen, we've got all the materials here on site. And the crew that arrived is from West Construction. He's got his uh, truck here. He's got a trailer with some scaffolding. And we walk over here, we're gonna meet company owner, Coulter Argue. Good morning. So Coulter, we're here. We've got the plans outside foundation all set to go roughed in plumbing so what are, what are we looking at here with um your role i guess over the next what is it seven to ten days yeah hopefully less okay yeah. maybe a little bit less what's interesting to me is when you've got someone on site like coulter professional in his trade he's here with himself and one you brought in one colleague one crew member with yeah. you aj aj and so with two individuals over the course of seven or less days yeah. seven or fewer days you're going to knock out the building here. So what are we going to get? What are you going to do in those seven days, Coulter? So the framing, okay. the shell of the building. We'll get the walls built, the sheeting done, and the windows installed. So we'll have this dried in and ready for the next trades to do their thing. So literally, guys, in about a week, we will have a dried in house structure here on this site where you currently see just this foundation. Um, yeah. AJ's busy moving lumber around so they can get access to the right pieces that they need at the right time. Mm -hmm. What's the highlight today, do you think? Getting everything leveled. Okay. Getting the sill leveled. You can see over there, he did some grinding here. There was a bit of a hump. Oh, oh, so already grinded it down. So if you were to look along this edge of the foundation, yeah. what you're saying, Coulter, is that right there... Right here, we got it down about a half an inch. There's still a bit of a high spot here. We brought it down a bit. Can so see that, we don't yeah. Have to bring the rest up to meet that spot. And that was the worst part, you think? This was the worst section here. Yeah. Right, and you checked all the other sides already. Yeah, we shot the laser all around, and this is by far the highest spot. It's and about an inch higher than some half hour areas. work already. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody, I got here at about I'm going to say eight ten, eight fifteen. Yeah. And you guys have already done this, so I don't know seven seven twenty. These guys are out here this morning. Okay. So we specialize in custom house framing. So not track homes, like one of a kind homes mm -hmm. like this. Um, we like to stay out of the uh, subdivisions and do uh, unique builds uh, for homeowners and builders. Um, we're gonna be doing a few things that are a bit better on this one, like using the zip bar sheeting and that's top of the line. I like quality, <laughs> yeah, I like to use good materials. Um, I like to take a bit more time to do a good job and not rush things. Yeah. We're not using chainsaws here or anything like that. We use routers to cut out the windows. Uh, we make sure everything's nice and level before we start. Uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Shimming up the mud sill and going through level. We also do window install, house wrap. Uh, we'll even do roofing underlayment just to get the building dried in. Nice. So that's important. Excellent. So everyone, I'm gonna be filming Coulter and AJ as they do their work this week. And as we go along, we'll hear a lot more from Coulter and how the work is going and hopefully learning quite a bit too. Because for me, obviously, this is a lot of learning, a lot of fun watching guys like Coulter do the work. Okay, Coulter, thank you. So right. Coulter and AJ have been busy at it for a few hours and they've also, they've already got the uh, pressure treated sill in place. And over here, because we've got some waviness in the foundation itself, you can see how they're shimming it up a little bit. And what I'll do is, Coulter's just explained to me that I should come back in here and put some structural grout in there. A little bit more. Perfect. And the laser set up right there. And they've created... They're going up. A little bit more. With a mark on it there so they know when they're level. Quick interruption, Coulter, for all us non-carpenters out here. What have you just done right now? Door. Cutting a door here. 
So they give you the center and then measure out with the openings they gave us and we got two jacks and a king stud. The header sits on top of the jacks and the king stud closes it off on the side. Nice. Morning everyone. It is a beautiful day out here at the Reboot. Early morning sun coming in here and as you can see Coulter and AJ are here out early as usual. I wasn't here yesterday and you can see they've been busy. We've got obviously one wall here, another wall there that they've built. Coulter's bringing over some more lumber right now. What second Coulter drops that down, let's wander over. Hello. And Coulter, I wasn't here yesterday. What have you guys been up to? Because there's a lot of progress here. Yeah, we've been framing walls. Mm -hmm. Spent uh, yesterday putting these two walls together. But right. in terms of just some of the basics, obviously what I'm looking at here with my foot touching with my hand right now, that's going to be the top of the wall. That's right. And so what are the people looking at in terms of, like I see three here, I see this massive thing, which I think is called a header. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Jacks, king, header, top plate, double top plate. Here we did a double bottom plate because there's a bit of inconsistencies in the yeah. foundation. Okay, so everybody, Coulter's being kind of modest here, that's about it is the comment. But let's face it, there's a lot of work that's been done here, a lot of expertise required to be able to put something together like this. It's square, it's tight. I mean, I'm just looking at this right now for the first time this morning. This is quality work, everybody. And just to let you look at something like this, this is an immediate, you see these tie down here the bolts here through the uh sill plates that's what they're called coulter that's right yeah. like you'll go to a lot of job sites everybody and you'll see big holes cut with chainsaws and just right there the quality there in terms of putting those in place and anchoring down those sill plates you already can tell that there's a different level of quality here and uh, craftsmanship that you don't find on some other types of builds so really pleased i've got coulter on on board here Getting ready to lift the wall. The two long walls, and this one specifically is the shorter one in height of the two. It's eight feet high. A lot of precision, effort, and hard work go into building these walls. I want a house that's well built. The framing is coming together nicely under Coulter's leadership. And a last little push here to bring it into perfect vertical position. First wall is up. Coulter and AJ are now setting it place. They're going to take some time now, obviously, to get this right. And they're not making sure it's 100% plumb at this point because they've got to get the other walls up and they'll start squaring it and plumbing it as the day goes on. But extremely satisfying to see that first wall go up. Very satisfying. In terms of this south wall that has still to come up, we've got the sliding door into the master bedroom area. We walk along here. Got a hallway behind this wall. Large set of windows. So this wall here, this portion of the wall here with this window that doesn't open, sliding door, transom window above the sliding door, which is already framed in there, sorry. Anyways, this whole section here, essentially it's a glass wall. I'm trying to balance here on the edge of the sill plate here. So this is a little wobbly. So this wall will probably be up in the next hour as well. Really moving along and looking quite good. It's starting to lift this wall. This is a really heavy wall. It's got a lot of braces where the two jack points are. And I think he's going to brace it again down at that end.
Okay, can you push that one up higher? Slowly. Not quite 100% vertical, they're still working at it. It's close. It might be very close at the far end, but they're still, obviously they're working on it down here. But it's starting to take shape. You're getting an idea what this structure is gonna look like. Big window for bedroom there. Lots of windows in the great room. Sliding door into the master suite over there. Coming together nicely. Using the laser level. To get it perfect. A laser level this corner here. And starting to look pretty true. Uh, it's pretty basic stuff. It's a, it's a wall.